I'm John Arter, along with Greg Guzman, ready to bring you the second game of the doubleheader as the men's Glen Oaks Vikings basketball team will be taking on the Jayhawks of Muskegon Community College. Jayhawks currently in second place, tied with Ancilla and Mid-Michigan. They sure would like to keep pace tonight. Yeah, hopefully they can follow up with uh, what the Lady Jayhawks did there to kick off the evening and walk out of here with two victories tonight. There's the tip, controlled by Glen Oaks. Baker, checked by Stimmage. Now Matthews, long shot does not go for Oakley, trying to, ooh, steps on the baseline, Jayhawk turnover. Oakley was trying to draw the uh, foul, but the officials were having none of it. Said good acting. Now Baker. Matthews. It's been nice to get Urban back here uh, the start of the semester here. and He's been a pretty big asset for the uh, men's basketball team here. Uh, does a lot of good things down there in the box. Pass goes out of bounds, last touch by Stimmage of Muskegon, so six on the shot clock. Vikings will inbound from the far side. Matthews from the far wing off the iron. Irvin with a rebound. Kirkland leads in, gets the bucket, and he's fouled. Good strong take. He's got a real good knack to get to the rim. Expect him to be in there all night. Labar called for the foul. And he completes the three-point play. Baker. Trying to work around Diaz, kicks it back out. Now Oakley. Gives it back to Labar. Labar off the iron. Kirkland with a rebound. Jayhawks like to get it and go. Kirkland has his shot blocked by Labar. Now Oakley, cuts between the defenders, left hand layup doesn't go, nice one hand rebound by Irvin. Kirkland back to Irvin, in the corner. Stimmage off the iron. Rebounded set, by Sturgis. Though. Good set, got a good look. Unselfish for Mr. Irvin. Those will fall. There's a nice deal by Kirkland, who's having a good first half so far. Kirkland lays it up, doesn't go. And picking up the loose ball is Michael Williams and puts it away. 5-0 Jayhawks. It's a good start. Matthews to Baker. See if the men can do what the women's did, and they held the... Vikings there, scoreless, still uh, 327 left in the uh, first quarter there. Irvin, near wing, he hits a tray. Kyle Irvin. Pretty good in out guy. Shoot it from the three, he's real well on the box. Oakley, Matthews. Matthews working on Williams, far wing, off the iron, Irvin with a rebound. A good show there by Irvin, stopped the penetration. Irvin gets his man up in the air, takes one dribble, misfires on the near wing. Matthews, little drive, off the iron, rebound Williams. Ball is stolen away. Tip back to Stimmage. A little bit sloppy there for the Jayhawks. In the corner, Kirkland, three point shot, in and out. Ball stays in bounds, but then goes out. Last touch by Muskegon. St. Kirkland touched it while he was out of bounds.
Coach Slump down the Jayhawks to pound the, pound the boards here on the offensive end. Matthews pass into Shank. Shank, three-point shot. Off the iron. Kirkland with a rebound. Quickly ahead to Williams. Far wing, three-point shot is good! Michael Williams! Okay, they get it up pretty fast. I don't know what their uh, time of possession is on the year, but I would guess it's somewhere around seven seconds. Yeah, it should be a six or seven sh second shot clock for the Jayhawks. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. Now Matthews, defended by Williams. And Matthews gets the first bucket for the Vikings. They're on the board, 11-2 Jayhawks. It's a good start. We'll just need to keep that going for the next uh, 30, 25 minutes. Stimmage. Diaz back to Stimmage. Off the iron, Stimmage. Gets the loose ball with a little drive, dishes off. Urban down low between three defenders. Cannot get the shot to go. We got a good look though. That those will fall if he continues to get those close shots like that for the entire evening. Diaz with a rebound, leaves it for Stimmage. Hey, Stimmage is one of the uh, best quarterbacks here in the league running this Jayhawk offense. Ooh, how about that? An alley-oop, Stimmage to Urban. Nice Executed little, well. Nice little back screen there on the uh, far side. Nice finish by Urban. Matthews kicks it in the corner. Shank, three-point shot. I think we got a Jayhawk in, uh, injury. Uh, officials time out. He doesn't want the time, so they're going to go right back to playing. Officials for the men's game tonight are uh, Todd Frazier is our referee. Our umps are Andrew Otten and Errol Beatty. Good officiating crew here at Bartels Rody. Inbound to Diaz, back to Stimmage. Image, checked by Baker. The left hand dribble, puts the shot up, off the glass, does not go. Brown with the rebound. Ball's tipped away. Oakley trying to work through traffic. Last touch by Glenn Oaks, Muskegon ball. You won't hear me say this often, but uh, that was good eyes by the official to uh, see that go off the Viking leg. Now Stimmage to Williams. Israel Williams. Diaz, three-point shot, rebounded by Brown. Michael Williams commits the first Jayhawk foul of the night. Both teams with only one foul. Jayhawks move pretty well on the defensive end. Good help defense for the most part. If we get some of our offensive guys to uh, start knocking down some more shots, we ought to make a good run here uh, January, February. Got the shooters. Oakley with the drive. Ball is tipped away. Now three point shot is good by Baker. Michael Williams nearly travels, gets the ball down low. Ritter has his shot blocked. Brown blocking that shot. Baker, Michael Williams rebound. Michael Williams drives baseline, gets his own rebound, no, but the third tip doesn't go, now a whistle. One way to 
pad his stats there on the <laughs> offensive end. I think he's got three offensive boards right there in one possession. That's right. Rather pad the scoring, but while you're <laughs> yeah, at it, get absolutely. the get the uh, rebounds stats. Yeah, a little bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> Williams good on the first free throw. Increasing the chances of a double double this evening. <laughs> Second shot off the iron, he splits the pair. DeVoe, DeVoe driving baseline, draws the foul. Armstrong call for the foul. Hey, Armstrong's been playing well as of late. Uh, gives uh, Mr. Stimmage a, a lot of uh, key breaks here that's kind of been helping the uh, Jayhawk offense as well as defensively. Armstrong good on the first free throw. He makes them both. DeVoe now with two points. Armstrong off the back heel. Checked by DeVoe. Williams. Right to Ritter. Ritter turns around, lays it in. Very good look from Mike Williams there. Find Ritter down there in the post uh, from about one foot. DeVoe. Matthews. Matthews, near wing, off the back of the iron. Michael Williams with a rebound. Andrews. Armstrong cuts across the lane, kicks it over to Andrews. Now the Jayhawks reset. Andrews in the corner, three-point shot. Offensive board, turn around. Irvin doesn't go, and we have a whistle. Pretty good offensive position there for Pinnell to get that offensive board. Uh, just unfortunate the putback didn't go in. Ritter called for the foul. His first, team's third of the first half. The Jayhawks been going pretty deep into their bench. Uh, the start of the 17 here. And hopefully that'll pay off dividends come uh, end of February. Oakley. Oakley has fouled along the baseline. Foul, fouls on Pinnell. Checked Dunno. it. Yes, on Pinnell. Dunno has got a little help from the official there. And kind of bailed him out. In the corner, Andrews with the rebound. Andrews, a long three-point shot, in and out. Irvin with the offensive board. Check that. That was Irvin with the board. And a whistle. Armstrong called for the foul. Number two on Sloan. A little bit sloppy here the last couple times down the floor. But, uh, I'd like to see him run a couple good sets here over the next few minutes. And Oakley. He converts. First points by Christian. Stimmage. Kirkland. Ball's tipped away and stolen by Matthews. Quickly had DeVoe. Can that convert? Draws the foul. He'll shoot two. Fouls on Kirkland. DeVoe on the line. Coach 
Coach Slump getting a little bit excited down here on the Jayhawk bench. Uh, a couple key substitutions there. They haven't, uh, kind of hasn't quite worked out, I'm sure, like he had planned. DeVoe makes both free throws. It's now a five point game. As Glen Oaks is inching their way back into this. Image. Kirkland with a drive, left hand layup is good. Along the near side, Matthews brings it back out to DeVoe. Matthews working on Pinnell. Matthews, a little jumper. Ball knocked around, offensive board by Brown. Not gonna make Coach Booth very happy on that offensive rebound. Uh, one, one Viking and three Jayhawks, and uh, somehow Glenn Oaks came up with it. Oakley. Irvin with a rebound. Stimmage. Stimmage. Kirkland, baseline jumper is good. Daryl Kirkland with seven points in the first half. Oakley picked up by Diaz. Little pass inside and used in the board is Stefan Matthews. We can get Kirkland going. He's a really streaky player. Uh, he's had a couple nice shots coming down the offensive end there. Stimmage for three. That helps when your point guard comes down and knocks one down from the top of the key. Now Shank tries to answer, goes up and over the backboard. Yeah, if we can get Stimmage to uh, knock down some of those shots, it'll open up the interior a little bit, and it should help out for the uh, post players on uh, the second half here. So look, look for that. Image. Diaz, now Kirkland, spots up, a little too long, Irvin with a putback. Baker. Be a nice set here for the Jayhawks. Stimmage drives, ball is tipped out. Last touch by Muskegon. Not quite sure that was a set that uh, Coach Slump had ordered up, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> nonetheless, it was a good close shot, just didn't fall for us. It's one of those impromptu sets. That's, that's what looked open, Coach, and we decided to shift to that one. If it works, great. If not, you're going to be talked to. Yes. Yeah, anything that ends up in a basket kind of gets left alone. <laughs> Baker lays it up and in. Kirkland. The Jayhawks been a pleasant surprise this 2017 season. You would have thought after last season maybe we would have had a rebuilding year. The coach Lump and Coach Booth do a pretty great job of recruiting. And um, we look to be pretty competitive here down the west side here, Western Division. File on Urban. Coach Slump and uh, Coach Booth do a good job of recruiting and seeing all the best players and bringing good players here to town. We got to turn them out on the floor. 7:20 left to go first half. Muskegon by 10, 25-15. Seven twenty left to go. First half. We want to thank the MCC TV crew doing a great job. Our camera person Lee Beaton giving you all those great shots of Jayhawk basketball, all under the direction of Rod Van Nortwick, our director and producer for Jayhawk basketball. Now top of the key, outside shot off the back of the iron, rebounded by Stimmage. 
Kirkland, far side. Little spin move, cuts across the lane, kicks it out, Michael Williams. Does it go, rebounded there by DeVoe. DeVoe, through the lane, leans in, shot doesn't go, Urban. Quick outlet pass, right there to Kirkland. Kirkland gives it back to Michael Williams, and he misses the bunny. The other way, DeVoe leans in, draws a foul, makes the basket. Yeah, we got to finish those if uh, we're going to end up on the right side of the score here tonight. Um, it's unfortunate. Lack of concentration by Mr. Williams. Urban called for the foul. His second. And DeVoe completes the three-point play. Jayhawks by seven, 6.28 left to go first half. Now Kirkland, far wing. Stimmage. Kirkland. 10 on the shot clock. Stimmage pulls the trigger, it's good. His well, second tree of the night. He's warming up a little bit. They might want to let him uh, let a few more fly here before this uh, first half's over. Now Oakley, Baker, DeVoe, ball goes out of bounds, Jayhawk ball. Good defense by the Jayhawks, they're all moving their feet, uh, helping out and resulted in a turnover, so. Stimmage. Losing the handle was Ritter, and it's a steal for Baker. DeVoe, far wing. Drives, oh, a nice steal there as it was tipped away by Mr. Andrews. Now back the other way. DeVoe down low, kicks it back out. Baker, three-point shot off the iron. Stimmage. And a reach in foul, frustrated foul committed by Baker. Okay, I haven't seen the whole conference, but I would put uh, Mr. Stimmage's ball handling skills with anybody in the uh, whole complete MCCA uh, conference. He's, I dare say his, I haven't seen 10 turnovers out of, out of him all season, which is uh, pretty phenomenal. And, and that's key for your point guard. You want a guy that can control the ball, somebody that is quick, a score. You're asking a lot out of your point guard to be successful for the team. Yes. And Stimmage is all that. Down low, Ritter does not finish. Gets his own rebound. No, one more rebound. Shot is good. Absolutely drives the coach crazy when you're six foot eight and you decide to put the ball on the floor. He was fortunate there, <laughs> but uh, most of the time that doesn't work good, in his favor. Good point, good point. Matthews, he uses the glass. If they're gonna make those all night, it's gonna be a long after, <laughs> long evening. Stimmage past the Ritter, goes through his hands. There's Williams to pick it up. Now a long three-point shot. A little bit short there by Kirkland. Long pass ahead is stolen. Boy, that was telegraphed. Now Stimmage. Andrews in the corner, off the iron. Offensive board, Michael Williams. Stimmage gets his man up in the air. Now the near wing, he drains it. This is a good ball rotation here today on his, on his, on his shot. Tribute that to uh, the, the big first half for him. Baker, bounce pass over to Matthews. Man to man defense. We have a whistle. Foul on Baker, number two. On Darius.
23-29 left in the first half. A 12-point lead for the Jayhawks. So we can't close this first half out and uh, go in with a 20-point first half lead or something along those lines. Irvin back out to Kirkland. Kirkland with a drive. He nails it and he's fouled. Good strong take to the hoop. Uh, stayed balanced. Ends up in a three-point opportunity. Foul on the bar. His second. Kirkland with an opportunity to complete the three-point play. In and out. Matthews. Irvin with a rebound. Kirkland. Swing, swing. Driving baseline, reverse layup is good. Good strong first half here by Mr. Kirkland. He's in double figures now with 11. There's a nice steal by Kirkland. Uh -oh. He splits the pair. He misses, but he'll go to the line to shoot too as he was fouled. Not sure he knew the young man was chasing him down. I think he had planned to throw that down and get everybody here in the Bartels J. Rohde gymnasium on their feet. <laughs> but it uh, didn't quite work out that way for him. Daryl shooting two. In and out. Two substitutions for the Vikings. As Shank and DeVoe check in. I heard it once said that uh, our, our broadcast is in eight countries. John, were you aware of that? Didn't realize that. This, this, uh, we're, we're on a high level here at uh, Bartel, Bartel's Brody Gymnasium. Uh, now, of course, you got to go to the, the internet for, the for world, that to occur. That's right, the World Wide Web. You can basically pull in anything. But we're always happy to have it go out to as many countries as we can. Now Oakley. Brown ball is tipped away, nearly stolen. Now stolen right back by Matthews. Matthews, far wing. Irvin with a rebound between two defenders. Long pass ahead, Michael Williams down near the post is fouled. Good look by Mr. Stimmage to get the ball up the floor to Williams who uh, was or undefended there. Uh, should end up in a couple Free baskets here. Oakley commits a foul, his second. Michael Williams at the line, shooting two. Good on the first. Jayhawks had a good game plan here going into the night. Um, nice solid lead. Two minutes to go in the first half. Williams makes them both. Shank drives baseline. Irvin with a rebound. Armstrong. Pass to Irvin. Irvin just flipped it up there. He's fouled. Exactly how Coach Slump drew that up. Nice slip there by Irvin. A uh, good free uh, look at the basket. He got a personal foul and he'll make a trip to the free throw line. Did Irvin break a finger there on that dunk uh, a few minutes back there, John? Or he may have it. On yeah, he does. And that came off on that last drive. He had to put it back on. Must have. Our athletic trainer here, Jen yep. Stegengar. Did uh, Mr. Irvin um, hyperextend it on his uh, knuckle or give us some inside information there, Ms. Stegengar? Well, just a small cut, we have been informed by our athletic trainer here that keeps all the Jayhawks uh, on the court as well as the field. And compliments to her for doing such a great job here for the uh, Jayhawk Athletics. 
So a minute 35, let's go first half. A little bounce pass in. Laying up and in is Brown, Seth Brown. Now Kirkland bringing the ball down court. Across the midcourt line. Andrews, far side. Too strong, nice big offensive board by Irvin. Put it back too strong, missed another shot. Matthews. In the corner. We have a Viking turnover. Tell you, this day and age, they may need to make the floor about eight feet wider because you see that all the time now, that they're always on the uh, sideline out of bounds there. And it's the second one this game, and I think there was two or three last game. And, well, back was about 10 years ago, they had rumors of uh, moving the rim to 12 foot. Hmm. With the legs of the Shaquille O'Neal's and the Manu Poles and the Kembe Matumbo's. And <laughs> Andrews back to Pinnell. The ball is stolen away. DeVoe the other way. And finished by Baker. We can't finish out this first half with a big bucket right here for, uh, before we go to the half. Jayhawks taking their time, getting in their offensive set. Now Kirkland. Long three-point shot is good. Big first half there by Mr. Kirkland. Uh, Coach Lump is no, 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 no. Oh, nice shot. As as All is forgiven. In. All is forgiven. Nice long three-point shot. Now with four seconds left. DeVoe with a drive. He missed it. And that'll do it as the buzzer goes off here at Bartels Roy Gymnasium. Our score is Muskegon 42, Glen Oaks 24. You're watching Jayhawk basketball right here on MCC TV. Well, we got Coach Booth here with the, uh, the assistant coach for the men's Jayhawks here. Coach, 42-24 uh, at the half. Uh, what'd you think of uh, the tempo? How'd we play that first half? Are you relatively happy with that? What's up, Guzzi? Doing all right? Doing great. All right. Uh, you know, I, I, th I thought we started out really well, came out to 11-0 run, uh, and I thought we finished pretty well, but, uh, there, you know, there was about an eight, nine minute uh, stint there where, you know, when we started to sub a little bit, and we kind of let up a little bit, and that's frustrating. Um, you know, it was one of our focus points in the beginning of the, uh, the game was to not have those, so uh, I thought we responded well, but um, we just can't have those walls. Yeah, I see you guys have been going digger, deeper into your uh, bench here in the last couple of weeks. Um, Anything uh, anything behind that or just kind of how it works? Um, you guys looking to build some more depth here as we get into, uh, head into February? Yeah, I mean, you gotta have depth, you know, come March. And, you know, some of it's, you know, you know some guys getting foul trouble um, and their guys' numbers get called. And I think part of it too is, is just trying to develop guys and get them experience um, and things like that. So it's a little bit of both, but, uh, you know, you got to be ready to play no matter if you're first man or, or 12th man. So you got to be ready to go. Uh, big first half by Mr. Kirkland. Um, you know, he's a streaky player from, from what I've seen over the season. Uh, hopefully he can carry that through the second half. Um, you know, we're plus 11 on the re rebound inside. Uh, I think Mr. Urban's been a nice, um, nice acquisition here over the past uh, month or so. Yeah, you know, he, he Kyle is big for us because he can do so many things. You know, he can he can spread the floor. And, you know, obviously he's a he's a big time athlete, and can do a lot of things. And you know, you know Daryl's Daryl's best when he keeps it simple and attacks the rim, uh, and lets his shot come to him. And he did that in the first half. So we're looking for the same in the second. All four scores are all, all four starters scored in the first half except uh, Mr. Diaz. What do we do to get him going? Uh, he just needs to be a little more active offensively. His shot will come. He's too talented of a player, and he's playing too well for us for uh, for for him to have another half like that. Good. Uh, second half game plan. They have just defend. You know, we can't allow easy buckets, and we got to continue to attack the rim and not settle. Awesome, Coach uh, Jimmy Booth here with the uh, men's Jayhawk team. Uh, good luck. In the second half. As we're set to go here for the second half, Jayhawks lead by 18, 14, 24. Greg Guzman with an opportunity to catch up with Jimmy Booth, the assistant coach of the Jayhawk men's basketball team. Always good to hear some of the insights from Coach Booth. 
Yeah, he says he's going to try to get, uh, they're going to run a couple sets for Mr. Diaz here in the second half um, right out of the box here, try to get him going. Uh, pretty talented young man once we can get him a little more active. Michael Williams shot. Ball's tipped away, but still controlled by Oakley. Baker, near wing. Baker for two. A long three-point shot, Irvin does not go. Oakley with a rebound. Yeah, I think Coach Poo or Coach Slump would rather have him taking the uh, five-foot shots than uh, the, the, the twenty-footers, but uh, can't take the good with the bad sometimes. Stemmage with a rebound, Michael Williams. Williams for three. Oakley with a rebound. Yeah, you're right, Sergio <laughs> Diaz. He is a good scorer, a good shooter. Be nice to get the ball in his hands for some open looks. He's uh, quite a pitcher, too, uh, coming out of Union. He, um, he had a couple big wins uh, in the postseason there last year. I always give him a hard time uh, telling me he's on the wrong uh, wrong piece of uh, flooring. But uh, just a very talented athlete. And there you go, boom. Uh, Ooh, in and out. Irvin with the offensive board. No, gets another board and a putback. Now, this day and age, some of the outstanding athletes uh, can play two sports. Absolutely. A uh, little bit of a conflict with baseball and basketball at our level, uh, being that they're making their tournament run while we're kicking off our spring trip. A little easier to do with uh, pitching. You know, you can fly them down on a later date and get them a start that way. Um, so we've done it a couple times over the years, but it doesn't happen a whole lot. Usually, if it's going to happen, it's a, a fall and spring sport versus, like you say, the conflicting winter sport. Yes. Williams with a bucket. <laughs> Oakley. Oakley's warming up a little bit here in the second half. We're going to have to close out on him a little bit this second half to uh, keep him from warming up. 18-point lead at half is now 13. Now Diaz off the iron. Brown with a rebound. A couple good looks for Sergio. It's a matter of time those are going to fall. Baker. Stimmage. Kirkland, high arcer. Diaz tips it back out to Stimmage, top of the key. Three point shot is good. A pleasant surprise. He usually doesn't look to score a whole lot. Uh, putting up a few points here this evening. That he is. There's, using the glasses, Matthews. Stimmage is in double figures with 11 points for the night. Now on the near wing. Little bounce pass down low, laid it up and in is Urban. Good court vision. Oakley. Matthews. Matthews with a nice little drive and lay in. I think Michael kind of thought uh, Kyle was going to help him out there and a little miscommunication on the defensive end. Image. Irvin, long three-point shot is good. Big fellow's got a nice touch from out there. That he does. Oakley for three. Seeing some of the shooters uh, starting to warm up a little bit here in the second half. I don't think there's been too many missed shots other than <laughs> Mr. Diaz, and we got to get him going. Stimmage gets his man up in the air, a little dry, kicks it back out. Now they're 
Williams. Brown with the rebound. Matthews from the free throw line. Soft touches, good. And Coach Dave Slump wants a timeout. 14-54, left to go second half. Muskegon by 12, 54-42. Jimmy Booth wants to uh, get the team fired up and going again. Said, hey, we only allowed 25 points or so in the first half, and they put on 17, 18 points here in the second already. Yeah, you know, with young athletes, sometimes they already have the uh, final outcome figured out in their brain. Problem always is they forget to tell the opposition how it's supposed to end. <laughs> That's true. And momentum sure can switch and make havoc with your plans. Now DeVoe, bounce pass over to Oakley. Oakley puts it in. Oakley with 10 points here in the first five minutes of the second half. Image. Bounce pass into Irvin. Irvin puts it in. The car is fun to watch when he's got it going. The court vision, attacking the hoop, seeing the big guys. He, he disperses it rather well, keeps everybody happy. Irvin over to Diaz. Now Pinnell. Irvin in the corner, Stimmage, three. That's his fourth three of the night. Lean in, Matthew's shot doesn't go, draws the foul. He'll go to the line to shoot two. As the foul was on Pinnell, his second, team's first of the second half. We need to make a defensive adjustment here. Uh, put a little more focus on 10 here. Come out pretty hot here to start the second half. Matthews good on the first free throw as Michael Williams checks in for the Jayhawks. Matthews makes them both. Stimmage. Michael Williams, top of the key, shots in and out. There was an offensive board, but losing the ball goes out of bounds. Yes, Israel Williams had the offensive board. It was knocked out of his hands. Jayhawk ball. Little pass into Michael Williams is stolen by Matthews. As you mentioned, Greg, he has had the hot hand and strong play in here in the second half, and he puts it in. He's on fire, 12 points here in the second half for Mr. Matthews. Yeah, just over seven minutes here in the second half, and he's, he's feeling it a little bit. I might want to change up their defensive looks one time or two times down the floor here and just throw maybe a 1-3-1 one, one at him or a 2-3 and just kind of change it up, get him out of his rhythm, put a couple of different defenders in different areas, and see if you can't kind of knock him off his square here before he gets too hot. Now Irvin, three-point shot. Oakley. Lost pass to DeVoe, knocked out of bounds by Glen Oaks. Yeah, we need somebody ourselves to warm up here on the offensive end. Uh, they're gaining on us. That may be Ricari. Stimmage! Top of the key for two. 16 for the game for Ricari. DeVoe, the hot Matthews looking to drive, far wing, 
Offensive board by Brown. Kicks it back out. Vikings reset, down by 15. Good defense by the Jayhawks. Couple nice switches there through this offensive set. DeVoe, Brown, baseline jumper is good. The Vikings are 0-4 Western Conference play, 0-10 overall, but they're not playing like it here in the second half. They're playing well. DeVoe leans in, draws the foul. He'll shoot two. As the foul is on Pinnell, number three on Jaquan. Jayhawks are going to need to turn it up here a couple levels on uh, this last 11 minutes if we're going to finish it how it should be. Uh, come out a little sluggish here to start the second half. DeVoe sinks both free throws. It's an 11 point Jayhawk lead. Kirkland, reach in foul on Glen Oaks. That will be on Baker, number three on Darius. Pass into Irvin. Kirkland in the far corner, off the back of the iron. There's an offensive board by Diaz and a foul. Reaching around foul will be called on Baker. Now that's number four. Two back-to-back -back fouls here on Baker, and he'll find the pine. Good. Change up the equation a little bit here. Should benefit the Jayhawks. Uh, I'd like to see him get uh, Mr. Kirkland a high screen here and create, uh, create him's ability to get to the rim and hopefully open up some uh, other Jayhawks and get some good looks here uh, while, while Mr. Stimmage is on the uh, bench getting some rest. Now Kirkland, out to Armstrong, in and out. Offensive board by Urban, the putback is good. Keep Mr. Matthews 25 feet away from the basket. Uh, help us out defensively a little bit. Matthews leans in, kicks it over to Brown. Brown shot, misses the rim, goes out of bounds. Jayhawk ball as we approach the midpoint. Big possession right here. Of the second half, and we have a timeout. Glenn Oaks, 10.04 left to go. Muskegon, 65. Glenn Oaks, 52. We'll be right back. John Arter and Greg Guzman back here at Bartels Rody Gymnasium. And uh, Greg, uh, pinch hitting for Gene Young. Gene, get better. We know you're under the weather a little bit, but look forward to seeing you back here next Wednesday. Greg, you mentioned that uh, some of your baseball players found out you'll be doing the color uh, analyst, wanted to shout out, but how do you shout out to them when they're supposed to be at the library? I agree. Uh, you know, we had study tables tonight too, so I mentioned that to them as well before I uh, came down. <laughs> Well, well, you, you can give a shout out if you want, but no, that would be hard to do in the library. There were uh, 15 of them here that they, <laughs> they, they were out of the library at uh, 730. So I've seen about 15 of them down here on the floor. There you go. Uh, support, supporting the men's basketball team. So there. that's great. There you go. Well, we, we appreciate you stepping in and you're doing a great job. Now Glenn Oaks from the far side. Oakley shot rebounded by Irvin. Yeah, grateful for the opportunity. Um, you know, to fill in for somebody of the stature of a Mr. Young, you know, I just uh, somewhat honored, to be honest. Um, He's a legend. He's been on the uh, broadcasting waves for many years, radio and TV. Gene Young. Jay Hawk ball. Another broadcasting legend, Jim Moyes, the uh, last basketball game I ever played. I still have this, the, the cassette tape, believe it or not. Um, 
of, of my last basketball game. So, I mean, it, just some great voices in the area we've been blessed yes. with uh, in my career anyway. So, yes. just grateful to be, a, to be a part of it. Wow, nice little pass. Irvin goes up and gets it and puts it th through the cylinder softly. 22 points for Kyle Irvin. Oakley, near wing, Michael Williams, rebound. We'll tell you that uh, Gene and myself are both members at uh, Norton Pines Athletic Club, and if I see him in there tomorrow, I'm going to give him a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> He's not too sick to go in there. Well, he might be in the steam room trying to bake that cold out of him. I don't know. Yes, yes. It, there's a there's nice sauna in there to, to try and work out some of the, the bugs. Oakley. Lays it up and in. Coach Slump not real, uh, not real happy with the uh, flow of the offense here. Uh, looking to make a couple substitutions. Uh, help with that. Diaz. Baseline jumper. Diaz is good, and he's fouled. Diaz finally on the board. Well, he's a pretty streaky shooter. Uh, he ain't careful. He could end up with 20 here in the next eight minutes. It's just kind of how he goes. Hopefully this guy get, gets him going a little bit. Fouls on Seth Brown, number two on Seth, fourth on the team in the second half. Sergio completes the three-point play. And Glen Oaks wants a timeout. 8.04 left to go. A 16 point lead for the Jayhawks, 70 54. Jayhawks with a 16 point lead over Glen Oaks. It'll be Glen Oaks ball. Jayhawks will travel on the road again this Saturday to Mid Michigan Community College at Sinclair, right near Mount Pleasant. And they'll be back next Wednesday. It'll be Wednesday night basketball at the Bartels Roadie as Lake Michigan will be in town. Yeah, I think there were uh, nine Wednesdays in a row, if I'm correct. Uh, yes. I was speaking with, uh, trying to think of who was here last week, but he said they had seven Saturdays in a row. Wow. What a weird layout this yes. year. Yes. Computer generated uh, schedules. I'm talking to athletic director Marty McDermott, and I said, How do they pick these? He says, Well, that's. It just happens, <clears throat> and every year they move the games up one, and then with Mid Michigan getting into the mix this year, it's just the way it worked out. Yep, change the equation with the addition of Mid Michigan, and we're home on Wednesdays for the whole uh, community to come out and enjoy, put it in your schedules, and we'd love to see you. Good brand of basketball here this year, the men's and the women's, uh, very yes. competitive. Both teams tied for second in the in the uh, conference. Only one game out of first. And we'll get another shot at Cave Valley as far as the women's go when they come here. Yes. So. As they say, it's not over. <laughs> no. Far from that. Yes. It's only January. Still figuring it out. Only about half of the first half, so we're only about 25% of the way through so far. And both yeah. Jayhawks teams doing very well. Stimmage with the drive. Lays it up, no. Offensive board, Michael Williams kicks it back out. Outside shot does not go for Kirkland. A board for Michael Williams. He uses the glass, it's good. Couple good offensive rebounds right there. Ends up in a big basket for Muskegon. Outside shot, Stimmage with a rebound. Stimmage with a drive. Puts it up, high archer doesn't go. <clears throat> offensive board no, and one more tip, it's good. Another couple offensive rebounds for Muskegon. Good way to put points on the board, just keep pounding the offensive glass. A couple good stops here on Mr. Matthews. And He's shooting it well. Yes, he is. Six, 14 points in the second half for Matthews. 
Now Stimmage, top of the key, three-point shot, doesn't go. Ritter tries to slam it home, no. Michael Williams called for the foul. Good effort there by Mr. Ritter. Uh, didn't quite finish like we wanted, but uh, got to appreciate the effort on the offensive glass there. Baker over on the near side. He's checked by Stimmage. Now Shank, little bounce pass. Labar. Shank. Drives baseline. Blocked off there, and the Jayhawks come over with a steal. It's Andrews ahead to Stimmage. Reverse layup doesn't go. Matthews with a rebound. Matthews with a drive, lays it up and in. Stiggins going to have to figure out an answer for Mr. Matthews here. Image puts it in. They want to go boxing one on him or something along those lines until he cools off a little bit. His last 446 of the game. Jayhawks by 16. Outside, Kyle. Outside, Mike. Labar. Oh, nice steal by Kirkland along the far side. Kirkland lays it in and he's fouled. <laughs> Matthews commits the foul, that's only his second. Good strong take there by Kirkland getting to the rack. Chance to complete the three-point play. A couple big stops for the Jayhawks there. The last two times down the floor defensively, get a couple steals, create some turnovers, helps on the offensive end. We build that lead a little bit. Devoe. He finds Matthews on the near wing. Matthews, a little one-on-one, -on -one, picks up another defender, now kicks it over to Devoe. Oakley back to DeVoe, four on the shot clock. DeVoe just pushed it up, and Andrews comes away with it. Pinnell, Irvin with a jam. Good ball movement there. The Jayhawks ends up in a nice quality dunk by Mr. Irvin. Jayhawks by 21, 345 left. Wish we'd seen a few more of those at her level. Uh, like. Oakley, three. <laughs> Stimmage. Into Irvin, Irvin down low, lays it in softly. He's too strong for him down there in the post. There's not a whole lot they can do when he gets that kind of position. Good scorer's mentality to finish the plays, too. Fun to watch. Yes. Oakley, a long three-point shot off the front of the iron. Irvin with a rebound. Stimmage. Pinnell. Matthews. Four on one break. Baker lays it in. Muskegon may want to use a little shot clock here and let this thing tick down a little bit. Maybe a couple extra passes and just uh, work on their offensive sets and get some good looks here in the last uh, 235 here and finish strong. Kirkland. Muskegon calls time, time out. There's a jump ball situation. We're not, gonna, we're not sure if the uh, timeout got called. 
or not. No, I think the uh, jump ball, he said uh, Coach Lump was uh, enable, unable to uh, call a timeout because he didn't have possession. So Glenn Oaks will bring the ball down court. DeVoe, checked by Armstrong. Oakley, long three-point shot. Irvin with a rebound. Armstrong, Irvin, Matthews with a rebound. Matthews. Andrews called for the foul. Only the team's fourth foul. Second half, so Glen Oaks will inbound. Baker. Well, John, this uh, Mid Michigan game on Saturday, uh, I got them listed here at Harrison, Michigan. Is that where their uh, main main campus is? I, I know I've seen a couple in Mount Pleasant. Yes. Are those uh, satellites or? Well, they, they mentioned, uh, talking to the athletic director, Marty McDermott, at halftime, he said mentioned, it is over near the Claire Mount Pleasant area, right in that area is where mid-Michigan is. Has a nice campus and. Yeah, Harrison's a beautiful area up, up north there. A uh, little small town community. Pinnell picking up his fourth foul. DeVoe splits the pair. We get a little three, four pass set here, John. I don't know that we've seen one all, all, all evening, but. Uh. <laughs> and taking it to the hole is Kirkland. He's had a nice night. 20 points. Far wing. Rebounded. Right there by Israel Williams. 50 seconds left. Kirkland has his shot blocked. Reverse layup is good by Irvin. I think Mr. Irvin's always there to pick up the garbage and uh, put it in the basket after he's done doing so. Matthews is fouled. Blake Andrews gets called for his second foul. Matthews, the line to shoot two with 32 seconds left. John, once again, I just want to say thanks, uh, you know, giving me the opportunity here. A great learning experience. Uh, hopefully we'll get another opportunity here in the next uh, few months. You know, nothing against Coach uh, Gene. You know, I definitely wouldn't want him to be sick by any means. But no. uh, Yes, well, it's been a pleasure having you here. Uh, you've really added to the broadcast and you know, background, and and uh, just really enjoyed having you here, Greg, and hope to see you again sometime soon. Now Kirkland. He's double teamed, then fouled. Fouls on Matthews. As they're playing right to the wire here, no let up. Both teams with only six fouls, so no one and one yet. Kirkland inbound. Nice if we could keep it that way uh, for the last 16.15.7 now. Um, it isn't often we get out of here by 9 p.m. Never. <laughs> it seems to be, never happen, but the women's game went quick, and this one did too. These two well coached teams. Um, you tell just by the operation of the Vikings, they're going to be okay going forward here. Uh, they're still trying to find their way, but uh, 
They're in good hands with Coach Victor. So Andrews will just hold on to it. Reach in foul, nothing called, and the buzzer goes off. Our final score is Muskegon 87, Glen Oak 66. Jayhawks move on to become four and one in conference play and stay within one game at least of the first place. And they're 10 and four overall, while the Glen Oak Vikings dropped to 0 and 5 and 0 and 11 overall. And Greg, even though the Glen Oaks has not won a team, they sure didn't play like that in the second half. It was no, a good team. a lot of fight in that team. Like I say, you, you can only expect them to get better as the season progresses here. You know, yeah, you would have never thought that was an 0 and 10 team going into this game. Uh, you know, kind of scrappy. Uh, Mr. Matthews got warm there for a minute and, uh, you know, kept, kept it close, you know, relatively speaking. Nice play. Uh, the Jayhawks had some good balance scoring amongst uh, four players. Uh, we had uh, Kyle Irvin with 28 points. Stimmage had 18, which is very nice from him from point guard position. Michael Williams, 14. Daryl Kirkland with 20. So that's that's quite a few points from four players. Yes, yes. Yeah, the starters played well. Uh, you know, Mr. Diaz took the night off, which is very rare. You can look almost count on him on Saturday coming out and playing very well. So, yes, Kirkland played well. Ricari's scoring was up, and, and Kyle had another nice game. Mr. Diaz took a night off, as did Gene Young, and we want to wish him a speedy recovery as he uh, gets over the bug. And I uh, really appreciate you stepping in. It was really a pleasure to work with you tonight and uh, hope to do it sometime again in the near future and wish the Jayhawk baseball team, uh, you know, good fortunes as you have the spring uh, coming up and also your trip to Lauderdale. Yes, thank you very much. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're just gonna work our tail off and see what happens this season. Uh, Gene, I hope you get better, and John, it was a pleasure working with you. Thank you very much, and thank you to the MCC TV crew, our camera person, Lee Beaton, and uh, under the direction of Rod Van Nortwick, the director and producer, and we thank you, the viewers, for watching Jayhawk basketball here on MCC TV.